guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a super quick video. I personally am addicted to watching grocery hauls. I think they're so fun and I don't know, maybe I'm just nosy and like to see what people eat. Um, but we did a pretty big grocery haul. It's just the two of us. And I also picked up some items that are for videos. Soon I'm gonna be posting a 24 hour vegan video and also eating your fear foods because I asked my followers on Instagram what they're afraid of eating. So I purchased a bunch of that too. So I have sort of an eclectic mix and things that I don't normally buy. But I thought that I would share with you on this channel, we don't follow any specific diet. We don't restrict anything. We don't calorie count, macro count, any of that. We just live a healthy, balanced lifestyle. And by balanced, I mean, we listen to our body and if we want chocolate, we eat it. And if we want a salad, we eat it. And there's nothing wrong with either of those food groups. And I also, and I also have two dogs. But I'm, um, but I'm gonna go through everything very quickly. I'll share with you why I'm excited about certain items and things like that, but let's just get into the grocery haul. All right, so this is gonna be in no order at all, but the first thing that I got, I've never seen these before, but these are the Holy Veggie Kung Pao Broccoli. I love broccoli, and this is also part of my vegan challenge, but let me know if you've ever tried this before. I don't even think I've had like Kung Pao chicken, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it, but I think you just bake these in the oven. The next thing that I got, if you're Canadian, you'll know that these are the best cookies ever. They're these maple cookies. Very, very good. I got some blueberries. These are probably my favorite fruit, one of my favorite fruits, especially my favorite berries. And I just like to put these on oatmeal or have them as a snack. I'll usually just eat the entire container as a snack. Some frozen vegetables. So I got this corn that you can microwave if you want, but usually I cook it on the stove. And I also got these broccoli florets. These are really easy because you can steam them in the bag, but also who doesn't like broccoli? Then the next thing that I got, it's a little bit cold because these were sitting in the car, but these are some pastries. They're on sale and I'm probably gonna freeze a couple of them. We got some bagels for the morning. This is new for me. I've never bought sesame oil before and apparently, oops, if you put it in rice, it gives it a really, really nice flavor. So I'm really excited to try that out. This is the caramel Starbucks Frappuccino. I don't think I've ever tried this before, but you guys recommended it. So I picked one of those up. I wanted to pick up some lentils because either I want to make a lentil coconut curry, which sounds phenomenal, or I was also thinking of maybe making a lentil soup. I don't think I've ever bought lentils in a bag like this. Luckily, it's recyclable. I wish that I had gone to Bulk Barn or something like that, but that's what we got. I also picked up some tofu. I haven't had tofu in so long. I used to really like it in stir fries or making tofu scramble. We go through eggs really quickly, whether I'm baking or recipe testing, things like that. My boyfriend likes to have these in the morning as well for breakfast. And we got these two chocolate bars, Toblerone, I'm sure everyone has tried before, but I've never seen this. This was pretty unique. It's this crispy rice bar. And it just, I love the packaging. It's pretty cute. I got some oranges because my fruit bowl right now is looking pretty sad. So we picked up some oranges. I also got some vanilla, mainly for baking. I know that it's artificial vanilla extract, but that's what most people use in baking. Some romaine lettuce, some limons. I hadn't seen these in the store ever, so I know that Tostitos has like a hint of lime chip, but I've never seen a hint of garlic, roasted garlic actually, and garlic is probably one of my favorite things ever, so I had to pick up this, and I also picked it up with salsa to go along with it. This is going to be part of my fear food challenge, but I haven't had these since I was a kid. I bought cauliflower because I either want to make cauliflower wings, which I've never tried, but I've seen them everywhere, or I'm thinking about also maybe making like a cauliflower steak, which I've also seen all over Pinterest and things like that. This is just some plain old white bread, nothing too special about it. I like making my own bread because I prefer how it tastes, but sometimes you're in a pinch. And I also got two different 
types of kiwi. So I'm not sure if you've ever seen these before, but if you do, I recommend picking them up. Golden kiwis are so, so good. And then I just got the standard green kiwis. I hate how these are in packages. I wish that you could just bulk buy them, but it's much cheaper to get them this way and I'm just gonna recycle the package. Got some more bananas, got some tomatoes as well. These I just mainly like to snack on or use them in salads. Avocados, I go through these phases where I like to eat them every day or I don't want to touch them at all, but I like them in rice bowls. So sort of like a sushi bowl with avocado rice. That sesame oil would be really, really good. Seaweed, cucumber that kind of stuff. I picked up this roast just to have one night. Well, <laughs> more than one night, it would make some good leftovers, but I thought that that would be a good addition. And this is something that's super fun because I've never seen this before, but um, again, this is for a video, but I think that this is gonna be great. So it's a cake mix, but I didn't realize that I don't have a microwave. So I might have to somehow cook this in the oven. But yeah, you just add some water and voila. And then of course, no cake is complete without icing. So I picked up one of these Betty Crocker icings. Um, some cream cheese for the bagels. So I've seen these absolutely everywhere and I've never tried them and I love plant-based options, so I picked up these burgers. I think I'm gonna freeze them, and then when we're doing burgers one night, I'll just take these out, and we'll give them a try. I've heard mixed reviews about them, so hopefully they're as good as <laughs> their good reviews, but I'll let you guys know what I think about those on Instagram. Then I got this cute little Christmas jar of Nutella. Do you say Nutella or Nutella? Just let me know, but cute and my goodness I have no idea when the last time I had Fruit Loops were but picked up a box of those as well I can't stop tapping things I've gotta gotta stop that I've seen this brand before I think they have soups and dips and things like that but this is the chive and onion dairy-free cheese I'm really excited to actually test this one out. I have no idea if it's gonna taste good. I've had dairy-free cheeses before and they've been kind of a bust, so we'll see. I picked up some orange juice. Mainly I like to use this in smoothies because personally I don't like smoothies. I just use water. Coffee cream, some carrots. Honestly, these are the only thing that I'll buy organic. I know some things I should, like berries and apples and stuff, but these taste so much better than just the regular baby carrots. I got a big thing of baby spinach, mainly for smoothie. Picked up some mushrooms. I think that the brown mushrooms are much tastier than the white ones, but that's just a personal preference. These are just cremini mushrooms. And I think that's everything that we got. We went through it very quickly, but I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick grocery haul. If you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of content revolving around health and recovery and just lifestyle videos in general. I have playlists full of grocery hauls, full of what I eat in a days and vlogs. And yeah, make sure to like this video if you liked it and feel free to leave a comment down below as well. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Sky, just the whistle puff, guy.